for me, science is about the ordering of the universe and how we can make sense of that. But there's a lot more to the universe than just its regularity. There's its beauty, its magnificence. How do we fit that into our theories? And for me, one of the remarkable things about the Christian faith is that it emphasizes the regularity of the created order, but at the same time, its beauty, and says that beauty is like a signpost. It's pointing to something really significant. And for me, my intellectual breakthrough came when I followed that signpost and found where it led me. You don't find these answers by skimming the surface of reality. You have to go deeper. You can't simply observe nature and say, that answers my questions. You have to begin to unpack it, to reflect on it, to go deeper. And that's why it's important not simply to accept very simplistic judgments, but to think deeply about what we're looking at. We have to realize that science is excellent when applied to its own distinct field of operation. When you're using any tool, you have to calibrate it to find out where it works and where it doesn't work. And science is wonderful when it comes to looking at the forces inside nature, understanding how they work. But when it comes to deeper questions like the meaning of life, why are we here, then science actually struggles. It's reached its limits. And therefore, I think we have to say, and this is no criticism of science, that there are limits to what science can tell us about who we are and why we matter. I began my studies as an atheist. I grew up in the 1960s when Marxism was very academically fashionable. And it just seemed to me as a young man that um, science and a Marxist ideology made perfect sense of life. And that religion, that belief in God, was simply a dream from the past which was about to be exploded. But when I went up to Oxford University to begin to study science in detail, I began to realize that atheism did not make sense of the scientific enterprise as well as I'd thought it did. And I began to realize, I think to my consternation, that the Christian faith seemed to make a lot more sense of the whole scientific enterprise than I'd realized. And so I began to recalibrate everything as I realized that belief in God actually made far more sense of science than I had ever realized. And so after doing my first degree in science and then doing scientific research, I changed to theology. I wanted to explore the relationship between science and faith in more detail. I think one of the things I realized when I was beginning to experience doubts about my earlier atheism was that the, the map it offered us for making sense of reality didn't actually fit things very well. And so when I compared that with the map offered by the Christian faith, I began to realize that the landscape of faith mapped out by Christianity was much more satisfactory and also much more interesting and exciting. For example, it helped to make sense of the orderedness of the universe. It enabled me to make links between scientific observation and also the deeper existential questions about life. And in many ways, it just seemed to me that atheism skimmed the surface of reality. What you see is what you get. But Christianity was saying, look, what you see is there, but there is something else, something deeper, something more significant. And once you've discovered that, everything is going to be seen in a different light. That's my experience of discovering Christianity. It's like an intellectual voyage of discovery in which you discover new oceans, new islands, new people, and it is the most stimulating thing I've ever discovered. And part of the intellectual excitement of that journey of discovery is realizing that the sciences remain important, but they're seen in a new light. They're seen as something good, but they're seen as something that point to something of even greater significance. And for me, my faith does not in any way negate my science. It lets me see it in a new, more exciting, and I would say more fulfilling way. I remember reading how a former atheist became a Christian. He spoke of the 
difference it made to him. And he talked about discovering a new world and beginning the, what he called the delicious process of exploring it endlessly. And that's my experience as well, that becoming a Christian gives you a new way of looking at things. It's like beginning an intellectual voyage of discovery in which you sail new oceans and discover fresh islands. And for me, that's what happened. And it allowed me to see science in a new and exciting way. It was not about denying science. It was about affirming it, but realizing it pointed beyond itself to even more interesting and important questions. So for me, faith is about bringing to fulfillment my quest to discover meaning and significance, and above all, to make sense of the place and purpose of the natural sciences. As a theologian, I value enormously my past as a scientist because it emphasized the importance of using evidence, of assessing what we see around us, of giving reasons for what we believe. And I think the Christian faith is able to respond well to that, interpreting evidence, giving good arguments. For me, science challenges theology to give good reasons for its beliefs. But I think theology has something to say to science as well. It's all about questions of value and meaning. Why are we doing this? Are we simply skimming the surface of reality and missing its deeper meaning? What are the ethical values on which the whole scientific enterprise is founded? For me, science and theology need to talk to each other. They each have lots to say. For me, the best way of trying to make sense of things is not to ask, what does this prove? But rather to ask a very different question. What way of thinking makes most sense of what we can observe? What map of reality seems to fit best onto what we actually see? What theory seems to fit in best with what we actually observe? We can't prove it, but if the theory seems to fit the observations, then that suggests it makes sense.